Hi, everyone. How are you today? Hi, Megan. Uh, Let's go all the way back to the very beginning and tell me how, like, why you guys wanted to be a part of this series. Um, I've never worked in this genre before as a composer, so this was a massive opportunity, not only to try something new, but also bring, I think, hopefully, (laughs) um, a fresh take on what music and score can sound like within this genre. So I was very keen to be a part of it. Uh, I shot the cover story for National Geographic magazine on Spotted Hyenas that's linked with the series. And as soon as the magazine came to me and and told me this idea, I was in. I was so thrilled about it. Well, what I love so much about this series is it's not just focused on queens on screen, but it's also focused on queens off screen. It is an entirely female production team, including you two. Uh, So can you tell me about that experience and, you know, how it differs from any other thing you've been a part of? Um, well, I, I've i been very fortunate within this portion of my career. Band world prior was very different, but in this portion of my career, I, I seem to like 90% of the time work with women. I don't really, <laughs> I haven't really. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's and it's funny because I, I was thinking about it, obviously, with reference to this project. I was like, oh my gosh, this actually isn't that abnormal for me. And it's such a, we, it's a very unique thing. So I feel very fortunate, but I will say that um, particularly with Queens, the amount of just symbiotic understanding and um, whether it came to the creative process or the personal lives that surround uh, such a massive project such as this, I mean, it's just, it's the most caring and thoughtful and um, collaborative experience. uh, One of the best I've ever had. Uh, For me, I was working independently on the story, so I unfortunately didn't get the chance to work with the, the filmmakers. Um, but it is an amazing thing to see a team like this. It, I have been working in mostly male dominated spaces, uh, in wildlife. And so I think that there's a real change happening now. And, and this is just the beginning. Well, I think it's, you know, you guys are trailblazing because as you both said it, you know, National Ge- Geographic has mainly been male dominated from its hosts to the photographers they show, Um, so for me, it was really exciting to be able to watch this and, you know, also see how much of an impact it's had. And, um, for both of you, what are you guys hoping that fans get from it? You know, what are you hoping that when they're, when it's all said and done that they're left feeling? Well, I was, I had a moment within each episode where I cried the first time watching. So, um, While I think there are obviously larger ethos and philosophical threads to pull Mm -hmm. from this series, for me, I just want people to be moved by it because that's how we fall in love with nature. And this is such a unique creation. I hope that people feel the same way that I do about having had the opportunity to work on it. Mm it's, it's such a new perspective on the natural world. So I'm really hoping it gets people excited about getting outside and uh, protecting nature. Well, I think it's also for both of your jobs require a lot of patience. Uh, From what I understand, this series took a very long time to make. Um, And, um, you know, just in the whole natural world, you're dealing with animals and you're living on their time, not on a human time. Uh, So for both of you, how do you guys find the patience to, you know, make sure you're getting the right shot, the right score? How do you make sure that you're bringing the best without getting so frustrated? You're like, why am I still doing this three hours, four hours, seven days later? (laughs) Uh, Well, I know for for me, that's just the nature of the job, frankly. You know, it's it's always long, <laughs> long hours. Um, but I think there's, there, there must be something, I won't speak for, for Jen, but there's like something perhaps mm-hmm. part of my personality where, yes, it can be frustrating, but the moment that you get past that moment of, of perhaps apex of frustration, there's such a feeling of, uh, it's almost like elation at feeling like you've connected with a story and you've helped tell it in a very specific way. To me, that makes it all, it makes it all worth it. Yeah, I'd agree with Morgan. It's almost like the harder the challenge, the sweeter the reward. So for my final question for both of you, is there a particular episode that you are excited, you're most excited for fans to see? For me, it's the Tiny Queens episode because I got to do a pretty much fully electronic score for that uh, episode, and I'm so proud of it. And uh, 
I just think it's a, such a bizarre sci-fi world without being, um, I guess, not of this world. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's what I'm excited about. I'm a little biased because my magazine story was on Spotted Hyenas, so I'm really excited for them to see the African Queens episode. I think it gives us a whole new perspective on this species that's been maligned for so long. Well, perfect. Thank you to you both for speaking with me. I'm super excited for everyone to see the series. Thank you so Thank much. You.